everyone welcome back to my channel uh, welcome to you if this is your first time watching my videos I'm going to be starting a series that um, I'm going to be calling the countdown to Christmas so for the next uh, couple of months all of my videos will have a Christmas theme to them so if you're like me and uh, you love Christmas and Christmas crafting and decor ideas um, you know lots of sparkle and glitter um, then you'll probably want to hit the little bell icon that you see so that you can be notified every time that I put out a new video. Um, I've got lots of cute ideas, Christmas projects um, that I can't wait to share with you. So um, let's get started. So today, uh, today's project is this mini envelope uh, style gift box. So I've done two different patterns here and these are made using the envelope punch board. And um, I used Christmas scrapbook paper with this cute uh, reindeer design. And I decorated them with a candy cane ribbon band and uh, layered scalloped uh, circles with a stamp that says Be Jolly. I also added just some little um, embellishments with a kind of a sequin type leaf on there. And I, I used my stylus with some little red paint to add uh, little red berries on there. And a little bit of uh, glitter sparkle on the, the wreath in the center of the word Jolly there. So I thought they turned out really cute. And um, so I'm gonna just show you how to uh, put one of these together. Okay, so first of all, I'll take this band off so that you can see what these little boxes look like here. Let's put that over there. Um, so here's how it opens. It's an envelope style gift box. Um, just has the two little tabs at the top here. And you can either close it this way, which is the way I'm choosing to do it, or you could um, have the uh, flap come over the top and you could just use a little glue dot or something under there if you want it to open that way. So that's up to you um, how you'd like it to open and close. And um, they're the kind of the perfect size for, for you know, any kind of treats. Um, little Christmas treats would be good, some fancy tea, or you could actually even fit a little fancy bar of soap in these. Um, so there's lots of options um, for them. So um, let's, let's get started here. So what you need is a six by six piece of uh, scrapbook paper or cardstock and um, your envelope punch board if you have one. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, score and punch at two inches. And then at three and a quarter inches. So you just slide it along there. And you're going to do this all the way around your six inch piece of paper, six by six inch. And now you're just going to follow the lines once you've done um, the first scoring. And I've, I've kind of got a head start here. But now just follow the score line. Line up the little notch here. Punch and score. And then find the next uh, little score line there. Punch and score. So you would have done that on all four sides. So now what we're going to do is round the, the corners on our uh, paper here. Actually, I just do it on the, the, the long sides, those corners, there and there. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to, excuse me, crease our lines. It helps the box to go together a little easier if you have your lines nice and creased. Okay, so now on the uh, the long side of um, of your uh, paper here, we're just going to cut up the corners like so, just to the score line. Do that on both both ends there. This is where you have the uh, wider um, uh, envelope fold there. So once you do that, you're gonna can kind of see how it's gonna go together. Those little tabs would go in. And you can sort of see how this would come together here. So now I'll show you where to put the 
tape and the glue. So we're going to flip that over and then on just two of the uh, tabs there, we're going to put some tear and tape. Like so. Like so. And then on that same end, on the inside, um, you just put some tear and tape along here. And don't go too close to the to the top there because otherwise it'll be in your way, which I think I just took too much off. But so about here, lay that down. And on this side, like so. Okay, so now we can take the uh, Tape, tape backing off here. Oops, there we go. And then same with the, on the inside here. There, okay, so now you want to bring that in and line up the corner where you've got the tape on there. Make a nice uh, smooth fold there and then same on the other side bring that together like this and then fold those two side pieces in and now you're just going to come on make sure this is your box is lined up straight as you can before you press those down because let's see if that's gonna that looks good so just smooth the tape down so it holds and there you have that and then and just fold in like this so it's a really cute little box really quick and simple to do and I've already stamped out on here um, my sentiment be jolly and I just um, to do those little paint dots I just used the end of my stylus dipped it in my red paint and I just put the little dots on there you let that dry and of course I use my, my scallop punches in two different sizes here to, to make the little um, embellishment on the top. Now for these ones I use this nice uh, candy cane ribbon, um, but for just showing, uh, you could just use a, you know, a simple, you know, simple narrow ribbon of some sort. This is just a little white one that I have here, just for quick showing, because the candy cane ones I actually use my glue gun to uh, attach which I don't have plugged in right now, so can't show you that, but um, you know, you fiddle around with this till you get it looking the way that you want. And then um, just put your little, um, that's not a very good bow, but I would do better, I promise. <laughs> um, yeah, so just, you would just um, use tear and tape to um, put this um, embellishment on. And then I just had some one of these little uh, sequin leaves here, which I need to put some tape on here. And I'm going to just attach that. And then I just kind of slip that under um, here like so and glued that, taped it on there. So there you have it. So those are really quick and simple little boxes, but they're pretty festive looking. Of course, you could use whatever sentiment you like. It doesn't have to say be jolly, but um, um, whatever stamp you have, or you could even write something on there if you have fancy, nice writing. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.